Welcome to today's episode. I invited Kadrian to come talk about General Conference with me because I thought if I continued to do it all by myself, then it was going to take me like four weeks to get through. So it will take less time if both episodes this week are focused on General Conference. And once again, you're going to hear paper because that's just the situation that we have here. Kadrian brought her conference notes. Yes. Because she's a gem. And we're going to start with President Nelson because that's where I left off. I have President Nelson and then President Oaks and then President Ballard. So they're in order of the apostles except for the extra speakers. And then Elder Rasband and then Elder Bednar. First, President Nelson. I want to start off by saying that the little packet that I use, rather than just half a page that it has for all of the other apostles, it has a full page for the prophet. So I have a full page, genuinely, a full page, all the way full. So when I'm reading these, it's going to take a little bit longer than everyone else. So yes. Also, his topic was, or his title was Peacemakers Needed. And so I think, I think you got it right for one of them. I like to compare if I got one of the words right from the top corner. Mm -hmm. And I think you got one right. I did not. I don't know, because this isn't really organized, and I don't know if I actually took notes. I guess what I'm this. saying is, didn't you have a title, Peacemaker? No, right I just read one of the notes. Right. It and what says, did... be a promoter of peace. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, because his title's called Peacemakers Needed, and I always write in the top right corner what I think the title's going to be, or just closer to the title or the mm-hmm. message. And here I wrote peace rather than conflict. So I didn't match a word, but I matched kind of. First, he starts off with sharing, his little hook is that he shares he was a surgical intern, and one of the surgeons he was working with got angry because someone made a mistake, and he threw a surgical knife, and it landed in President Nelson's arm. Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, it was. If, okay, if that had happened nowadays, they would sue, right? Right, I think so. But I don't know if President Nelson would have sued, even if it happened right now. Yeah. I don't think he would have. He'd have been like, it's okay, buddy. You know? <laughs> it's, like, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's not really fine. I don't know why you're so angry, but yeah. let's learn from this and move on. Exactly. Let's learn from this, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Our things keep squeaking. Sorry. I'm sure you can hear it. Okay, and then... He shared that he decided never to throw anything in anger, whether that would be a scalpel or words. Mm -hmm. And then he said, hostility builds no one. Do not belittle others. We are to be examples to others. How compassionately do I treat others is something I wrote down. I put love your enemies, bless them that curse you, love one another as he loves us. True disciples build, lift, inspire, help, and support others. One way to honor the Savior is to become a peacemaker. Get rid of the spirit of contention. No man can serve two masters. How we treat others really matters. Interact with others with kindness. Article of Faith 13, say good things about others. I already said this in one of the other talks, but he says, I think it was Suarez, he talked about the Article of Faith 13 and saying good things about others. And then he said, an angry retort to something you disagree with will not help. I'm not going to lie. This actually came to mind recently. I like YouTube shorts. So do I. They're just addicting. They They just really are. It's really hard to... (laughs) (laughs) There we go. Respectfully, your voice is quieter than mine is, so... (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Let me eat the microphone now. Yeah. Um, What was I saying? Oh, I was on YouTube Shorts the other day, and someone had posted pictures of their wedding in front of their temple and stuff, and then she was like, and now I've left the cult, and I'm feeling so much better, and then she shares, like, sacred things, like, on the video, and I was, I lit, I really wanted to comment, like, why do you have to push us down? Like, why couldn't you just leave and leave, you know? But I was like, Kyra, that's not gonna help, even if, even if you're not saying anything mean, and you're just like, why bash? Yeah. It's still not worth it. And so I just scrolled and kept going. But I was like, seriously? That's good. I know. That's just... 
I'm saying it's good that you yeah, just, like, Yeah, no, I understand. But it's hard. So that's one of the things my dad's always talked about is once you come to the church or you've been exposed to the church, you can't leave the church alone. Right. Whether that's for good <gasps> so or true. for... I guess... Bad. Yeah, to, good, to dis- good or bad. To get hurt everybody. Yeah. Interesting. So. No, I totally think that's true. Because some people leave and then that becomes their identity. It, like, yeah. I left the church, you know? I'm like, why? Why can't you just leave and go find a happier life, you exactly. know, without us? Like, why Why have to build, break us down? Yeah. So anyway, a mean comment, not worth it, which that actually came into mind the other day. Okay, be a peacemaker now and always. We can change the world one interaction at a time. People we know in our ward, community, family, etc. do not need our judgment. Right. That was pretty good. That was. Uh, Charity is the principal characteristic of a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Charity is the antidote to contention. Charity is long-suffering and kind. People with charity do not think evil of others. Yeah. That's pretty deep. That is. Treating others the way that are consistent with covenants we made. I invite you to remember Jesus Christ. Then he makes a joke about us thinking about someone else who could benefit from this talk. <laughs> and then my favorite part is he says, I hope it does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he talks about how now is the time to put away your anger and pride. Seriously evaluate where you are. Refuse to take offense. Peacemakers thwart the adversary. There is a peaceful and respectful way to solve conflicts. That's pretty good. Yeah. Although I don't know if that's always the case because some people really don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can do your part. The Lord will magnify your efforts. There is no room for prejudice. The best is yet to come for those that build up others. And then the last thing I wrote down is, is how I treat others congruent to how Jesus Christ would? Am I being a witness at all times? I love that. Do you have anything you want to share from yours? You don't have to read everything um, like I did, but that's what I have been doing. So. Cool. All of this is just from the third session in general. Fair enough. So, I mean, it's only one page that's smaller than yours. But that's okay. Anything... I don't know. Just one thing that's stuck out to me from what you were reading off uh-huh. was the 13th article of faith. Because I just remember you talking to us about it. Yeah. And saying how amazing it was. Like, we'd say anything virtuous. Mm-hmm. Godly. Benevolent. Report, yeah. You know, it's like we seek after these things, but we also seek to talk about these things about other people. So if it's none of those things, we shouldn't be talking about that. True. So, I don't know. I loved that. That stuck out to me more than, like, anything else I've written down. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I think that's why it's so good to watch your own conference with other people because you can make connections and have a deeper discussion about what you're learning and what you're listening to. For sure. Because I think there's definitely value in writing notes and taking notes, but being able to discuss, yeah, that's where the depth comes in. Yeah. I like that you pointed out that that meant something to you. The reason I didn't just point that out is because Suarez says the same thing. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. Like, if you put those two together. Oh, I haven't put those back together. Fair enough. But Suarez, as I was reading through, also said, Article of Faith 13, saying nice things about others. And I was like, whoa. And then I made this whole long joke about how he was foreshadowing what President Nelson was going to talk about. Yeah. I am really curious if... They don't assign them a topic, but I am really curious if they look at all the topics that people have chosen because they turn in their papers, I'd imagine, and then they arrange them on the day of, like, what goes together. Possibly. I don't don't know, know, though. Well, because, so Avery's in that class where it was just Mm -hmm. a bunch of questions for Institute, Mm -hmm. and they were talking a lot about the whole process, and she was explaining it, where it's like, they assign everyone to speak. I don't think they give them a topic. Yeah, I don't think they do. And so then they go and write it. I think they give them a set amount of time that they need to take up. Oh, that's cool. And then they, like, come the week before it <laughs> right. to come and practice, I guess. Anyway, and they run through it and a few times. So That's funny. I can imagine them being like, okay, you have 16 minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get that almost exactly. Yeah. I think they err on the side of less so that conference ends like five to ten minutes earlier than mm-hmm. the hour because if it goes over i bet people just get <laughs> restless like, ah, yeah they're like I you can't. promised me this would be over at noon yeah it's 1202 <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah but yeah i think that's kind of how it goes but that's definitely interesting mm-hmm. okay next i have oaks 
Oaks. Do you have him on there? <laughs> Somewhere. It's okay. I'm just going to read what I have, and then we can talk about it. Okay. I was really impressed with myself because sometimes I say I'm going to do something and then I never get to it. Mm-hmm. You know, my typical humans do. Right. And I said, oh, I'm going to come back to this talk and I'm going to write down all the scriptures he says. Yeah. Because you can't oh keep gosh. up with him as he's going because no, he doesn't mention like, what they are anyway. Mm-mm. So it unless you have like a, scripture after scripture exactly. after scripture. No, it was. was like, I know. And you can't memorize. I mean, unless you have them all exactly memorized, you don't know what scripture he's saying. No. So I was like, I'm going to have to go back after this is posted with yeah. all of the footnotes of what each one is and then write my notes on it. So I did, believe it or not. And I'm pretty confident it took me 20 to 30 minutes. Wow. I know. So I wrote down every single scripture and then wrote up a phrase from that scripture to remember it by. Okay. And so I wrote down a few different scriptures, well, all of them, and the quote I put in this corner was quotes from Jesus Christ, and that's true. He titled it, though, The Teachings of Jesus Christ, so I matched two words. That's good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He said 2 Nephi 32.3, which is about feasting upon the words of Christ, John 3.5, be born of water and of spirit, talking about baptism, 3 Nephi 12.6, thirst after righteousness, Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers. Matthew 5, 27 through 28 talks about adultery and lusting. Matthew 5, 43 through 45 talks about loving thy neighbor and loving your enemies. Matthew 6, 14 through 15, forgive men their trespasses. I also thought it was interesting that as I looked, he goes in order. It starts with Matthew 5, 9, and it goes Matthew 5, 27, and Matthew 5, 43, and then Matthew 6. Wow. Yeah, who So knew? it's like right... Yeah. Exactly how the Savior was exactly. explaining. Exactly. Yeah, it's chronological order. And then John fifteen nineteen, I have chosen you out of the world. Joseph Smith translation, Matthew six thirty eight, build up the kingdom of God. Matthew seven twelve is the golden rule, treat others how you'd want to be treated. Matthew seven, fifteen through seventeen, beware of false prophets, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. Matthew seven twenty one, doeth the will of my father which is in heaven. Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30, come unto me, I will give you rest, my burden is light. Joseph Smith translation, Matthew 16, through 20, 16, 25 through 26, deny himself, keep my commandments. I just have little phrases. Joseph Smith translation, Matthew 16, 29, forsake the world and save your souls. John seven seventeen, do his will. John ten sixteen, other sheep. Matthew twenty two thirty seven 37 through 40, first and second great commandment. John fourteen twenty one keep my commandments. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father, and I will love him. Luke 11, 9 through 10, ask and it shall be given you, seek, knock. John eleven twenty five through 26, I am the resurrection and the life. Isn't that interesting? I am the resurrection. Yeah. He says that. Jesus Christ does. And then John fourteen twenty seven. that's the choir theme. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not, not as, as the, the world, world giveth, give, give I, I unto you. you. Let, let not, not your, your heart, heart be troubled. troubled. Neither let, let it be, be afraid. afraid. <laughs> and then John fifteen twelve. love one another as I have loved you. Luke twenty four thirty nine. behold my hands and my feet. Matthew twenty eight nineteen through 20, go ye and teach all nations. Should I keep doing this, or is this boring? I don't know. She thinks it's boring, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm trying to, like... Third Nephi 9, 15, I am, in the fa- I am in the Father, and the Father in me. I think it's boring, guys. <laughs> no. I think it is. Okay, because I have one, well, two, just three, four, five, six, seven, eight more scriptures. Oh. I'm just going to pick one more. Go for it. Um, third Nephi 27, 13 through 14 sent me that I might be lifted on the cross. Anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of scriptures. There were a lot. Yeah. And I wrote them all down, believe it or not. Next is Ballad. Ballard. I've been talking in an accent <laughs> randomly throughout the day and apparently it came in. <laughs> okay. I actually matched three out of the four words for his Ooh. talk title. His title is Remember What Matters Most, and I have What Matters Most in the corner. Wow. So 75%. That's that's pretty darn good. That is. I wouldn't have known to add remember. No. You know? 
Okay, first he shares his experience with his late wife and dating her. What matters most is what lasts longest. The most important thing is our relationship with Heavenly Father and the Savior. The second thing that matters most is family relationships. Extended, ward, friendships. We can disagree without being disagreeable. I liked that. I like that. Family relationships perpetuate beyond the grave. Another thing that matters most is following promptings of the Holy Ghost. He had a prompting that he put off because he was reasoned away. And then the woman that he was prompted to go meet passed away during the time in between. And so he says he regrets that and he'll never not follow a prompting again. And then he talks about being converted to him, bearing the testimony of him, and serving him matter most. He matters most. As our conversion grows, we often want to testify of him. I invite you to bear testimony of what you know and what you believe and what you feel. A pure testimony comes from a changed heart. This is Jesus' church. He is at the head. Then in the corner I wrote, what matters most? I love that. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the song, What Matters Most? No. What matters most is to follow him and believe. Oh, wait, I don't want to ste- that sing. Does, yeah. That sounds familiar. You're pro- familiar. Wow. Words. <laughs> you probably were in my car when we listened to it. Not even going to lie to I you. I think so. I'd play some of it, but I didn't prepare that, so that's fine. That's okay. But anyway, What Matters Most, and it's from EFY 2016, so a hot second okay. ago. But yeah, What Matters Most is to follow him and believe. I don't want to sing because I sound bad. But no, you don't. I do. No. Okay, next is Raz Band, and I have less notes for him. I just cut off when I have extra space because I want it to look full. Yeah. So <laughs> his is a little bit smaller. I didn't write anything for him in the corner because I didn't know. <laughs> so there you go. I did write Palm Sunday, though. Not over in the corner, but just in general. Mm -hmm. And his title is Hosanna to the Most High God. I never would have got that right. Right. Because, okay, again, my notes don't have, like, names to them. So. Hey, writing notes is better than nothing, in my opinion. It's very true. Okay, he said, Palm Sunday, Christians everywhere are celebrating. Jesus is the King of Kings. Remember the palms of Jesus' hands. He has engraven us upon the palms of his hands, prophecy, Holy Ghost, discipleship, atonement. Those are the four things I wrote down. I mean, I have number one, prophecy, number two, Holy Ghost, number three, discipleship, number four, atonement of Jesus Christ. Then I have John fourteen twenty seven, our choir theme what? again. I think it was brought up at least five times in conference. And it hit every time. I was like, wow. I know. It just felt so personal. It did. Conference felt very personal. It did. And honestly, every time I heard it, I thought, way to go, Sister Toppa. Yeah. For being so in tune. I was tempted to text her during the first one. Be like, guys. Yeah. Actually, a lot of people did, apparently. Okay. Not a lot. I think like one or two people text her. And then, I mean, I text her. Yeah. And then one of the other choir presidents, he texted our group chat. So it's just kind of fun. (laughs) <laughs> i yawned and she's Me laughing too. I did too. oh you did too it was like, Hold on. when i'm by myself i try to pause it so i don't have to listen yeah. to my yawn <laughs> but it doesn't really work when someone else is here because if i pause it and you say something it's awkward it's like, oh. that already happened by the way i was like shoot <laughs> okay am i continually grateful for his atonement The parable of the ten virgins and the oil. Do we have oil? Are we prepared? Oil comes from believing and acting in faith. It comes from repenting and making choices for him. Oil fills your soul. Seek the healing power of the atonement of Jesus Christ. We will stand before him. Diligently and intentionally follow Jesus Christ. There you go. I love that. Any thoughts on that one? I don't know. I just, sorry, there's just one quote on here. Yeah, read that it. That is sticking out to me right now. And it's kind of why conference felt so personal. Mm-hmm. I don't know who said this or why I wrote it down. Or That's that okay. doesn't make any sense. Anyway, That's okay. Um, it just says, Christ knew his divinity and it got him through all trials and tribulations. So how can knowing my divinity help me? Yes. Because... I don't know, that was something I was really struggling with, I guess, this semester Mm -hmm. in particular, where I felt like I couldn't do anything, which 
Guys, we did it. We did it. We survived the semester. <laughs> this is finals week. It's a miracle. <laughs> Seriously. But I just, now reflecting, I'm wondering, you know, like, I see that Christ got me through everything, but I'm wondering, like, is it possible for me to get through it, have more strength on my own, even mm-hmm. though, like, I'm never going to do it myself, but having more motivation or believing in myself more how is that going to help me get through i don't know the rest of like whatever is thrown my way throughout no, life true. so no i actually remember that i don't know who said it but i remember that awesome i love it thank you for sharing yeah okay the last one is david a bednar and his title is abide in me and i in you therefore walk with me that's a good title that is it's a solid title that's solid Okay, so in the corner I put abide with him. So I got one word right. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> okay, I wrote down the story of Enoch. Heavenly Father will magnify our efforts. Abide in him, remaining fixed and stable and unyielding. Come and stay. I like that part. I like that. Remain steadfast in your devotion to him. <laughs> I, I been yawned. It's okay. Strive continually to strengthen your covenantal connection with the Savior. I love that part. Strive continually to strengthen your covenantal connection with the Savior. Way to go with his alliteration. Right. Way to go, Bednar. <laughs> Reflect and repent sincerely. I don't know if he said that or if I wrote that down from what he said. Mm-hmm. But another time there's alliteration. Ask, seek, knock. Learn for yourself. Gain a personal testimony. As we abide in him, he will abide in us, personally and individually. Nourish your heart by faith and diligence. Plant the word into your heart. Is the tree of Christ growing in me? Have you received his image in your countenance? I love that. Mm -hmm. I've talked about that on that podcast episode before. Remember and honor your sacred covenants. Jesus beckons to each of us, come follow me and walk with me. He wants us to come and belong. Living and loving Redeemer. That's it. That's all I have. Wow. Hey guys, everybody. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate your support. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, some of these sound effects are funny. Like there's a laughing one. I know, isn't that funny? And then there's a cheering one. That was loud. I'm sorry, guys. And there's a camera. I don't know why I would need a camera, but there is. And then there's a sus one. And then there used to be others, but I deleted them because I wanted space. So nice. that's the truth. Nice. That's the truth. <laughs> that's from the What Matters Most. That's that, that song. I think. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to read through these? Yeah. Okay. There's just a few. So it says, if we are living worthy enough for the spirit of the Lord, we can one day be found worthy of living with the Lord. Ooh. Loved that. Um, invite and remember Christ in all parts of our lives. Um, the more we focus on Christ, the more sin loses its appeal. Ooh, I like that, that one. There is no perfect formula to scripture study. That is so hard for me because I keep yeah. thinking, oh, this is how I've got to do right. it. And I swear, I just don't know how to read my scriptures, I guess. No, I know what you're talking about. In fact, I always believed like reading the scriptures and studying the scriptures, you had to do it with a physical copy. Really? I always thought that, yeah. And I was like, if I read on my phone, it's not as real. Right. <laughs> and that's kind of dumb. I mean, I don't know. It's a dumb thought process because if you're reading on your phone and you really are trying to read, then it's not you, any yeah. different. But I feel like I get it. I feel like I get more distractions <laughs> from reading off of my phone. That's true. It's really hard for me to stay on topic. Mm-hmm. Or, no, anyway. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Stay on track. Stay on track. Yeah. Because then someone always texts me and I'm like, ah. Yeah. So I do have to get like a physical copy. Yeah. I totally get that. And then turning it on no disturb is hard because I'm like, what if I want to know what yeah. someone's texting me? <laughs> <laughs> maybe they need to hear what yeah. I have to, like what I'm studying yeah. right now. Or maybe... I need to hear what they have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's important. <laughs> Which is just terrible, but it's fine. It's and okay. then I downloaded this app. It's called Scripture Plus. Oh. 
and it has Cub Follow Me broken down day by day oh. of the week. And it is really nice. And then when I started doing that, I was like, no, I am studying the scriptures on my phone and I'm getting like a deeper understanding. That's good. So guys, I recommend Scripture Plus. It's very helpful. It breaks it down day by day and you can take notes and then it gives you all of the resources. And then it also has like quotes and essays and videos that you can watch and read. It's really cool. I have to take note of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's my nap time. <laughs> me too. <laughs> well, thank you so much for listening. I hope me just reading scriptures and reading my notes wasn't boring. It wasn't. It was great. A little bit boring. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, when I'm editing these, they're one of the least boring ones that I've edited before. That's good. And with editing with other people, I don't mean, but when I'm by myself, sometimes I'm like, boring. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know if I'd be a follower of my own podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to embrace imperfection, find meaning, satisfaction, and joy from the journey. I'm Kyra. I'm Kadrianne. And this is Imperfectly, Imperfectly Broken, Broken, the, the podcast. podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do.